Hey guys, it's Nikki. Um, today I'm going to be doing day 13 and 14 of the 30 day challenge. And, um, just because, I mean, I'm not, I'm not behind on the videos. Like, I haven't skipped one a, a day or whatever, but, um, tomorrow starts spring break and my cousin is going to be here. And, I'm going to be spending time with her so I won't have to have time to do a video every day so I'm just going to get ahead a little bit. And then day 15 I'm going to do a boyfriend tag. Alright. Okay so day 13 is what is your favorite fictional book? And I, I don't give a crap my fictional my favorite fictional book is, I don't know. I don't know, so I'm going to do something else because I really don't want to do that. Okay, so instead I'm going to be doing my perfumes and lotions that I own. Yeah. So, yeah, here it goes. Okay, I'm going to start with lotions. <clears throat> okay, this is... Bath and Body Works Pleasures, Freshwater Cucumber, yeah, Freshwater Cucumber Body Cream. That's what it looks like. It has cu cucumbers on it. And this smells like cucumbers. It's, it's what it smells like. Um, I don't, I don't really like the way it pours out. It's really old, so that's probably why it pours out weird, but it's really, really liquidy not my favorite thing um so yeah that's that the next thing is also from Bath and Body Works and it's signature collection and it is coconut lime verbena triple moisture body cream that's what it looks like and this is thicker than the other one I'd have to say but I personally do not like the smell I mean I like the smell but when I Okay, I like the lotion, but the body spray that I'll talk about here in a minute is strong and it gives me a headache. So, I recommend buying the lotion only. This smells really, really good. I'm sorry I don't have the descriptions on them. I just think it's kind of a waste of time. Yeah. Okay. Next. Cherry Blossom Body Lotion. Everyone has to have freaking Cherry Blossom. And this is a little size, and I don't keep it in my purse yet. Because I'm trying to use all my lotion. I have so much lotion. Like, this isn't even half of it. Um, Cherry Blossom Body Lotion. Blossom. Uh. Cherry Blossom. Um. With Vitamin E, Jehovah, and Shea Butter. Signature Collection Bath and Body Works. Oh, I love this smell so much recommend it. It is cherry blossom. That's what it looks like. Okay, the other one. Next one. Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. I freaking love this smell. I don't use the lotion very often just because I have the perfume and the... the lotion and the body wash and I haven't used the body wash yet so I'll let y'all know how that is when I try it but this is a very very um let's see it's kind of fruity fruity I'm not going to describe any sense I'm sorry guys but it smells good be really juicy okay and Midnight Pomegranate this is the last one of my lotions that I have to show y'all. This smells really, really good. Oh, I just got it on my nose. I don't know how to describe it. It smells good. And I keep my lotions and my perfume in my little uh, dresser right there. That shelf that's empty right there. Yeah, that's where I keep them. And I keep my lotions in this thing. And it's empty now because I just took them out. Those are the lotions I have to show y'all. I use a lot more, but I didn't want to go get them. So, yeah. 
Um, here's the perfumes. I don't know if I want to do a separate video for the perfumes or just do. I'll do it in this video. Okay. Ed Hardy by Kristen Augier. My mom gets me this perfume so far every Christmas for two years. This is what the packaging looks like. I'm sure y'all have seen it. There's not a certain flavor or whatever. I don't know. It's Eau de Parfum. That means it's stronger. And what you do is you take this lid off. And inside is a bottle. That looks just like the, the thing. And it's Love Kills Slowly. That's what it's called. That's the flavor, I guess. So yeah, and then you take this cap off. Oh, that's a lot. I have a lot in there because I just finished my old one and I got this for Christmas. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know what this smells like, but it smells good. I think it, personally... If you smell it at the store, you're not going to like it very much. Because I think it smells way better on. In my opinion. Maybe it's just my body. I don't know. But yeah, that's Ed Hardy. Okay, next is Juicy Couture. And I know everyone on YouTube have been raving about this freaking... Oh, this thing. This packaging. How adorable is that? That's so adorable. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have a lot, a lot, a lot left. Because I use a different perfume every day. Mmm. I love this. It doesn't smell exactly the same as the lotion. I can tell you that. Um. Yeah, the lotion definitely smells more fruitier than the perfume. And this is Viva La Juicy, by the way. If I haven't said it yet. Um, it's Eau de Parfum. And this is 1.7 fluid ounces. And there's, I think there's a smaller bottle, but I don't know if there's a bigger bottle. I think this is the biggest they come in. So, that by far is my favorite perfume. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's my second favorite. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm like texting. It's kind of rude. Okay. So now for body sprays. I still have perfumes left. I don't know why I'm going to body sprays. These are from Victoria's Secret. I have vanilla lace. And pure seduction. And as you can tell, Vanilla Lace is, like, gone. And it's because I used to use this every day. I use this every day in the summer. Because, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Oh, it's Vanilla, Orchid, Amber, and Musk. Oh, that's really nice. They, like, put it on there. Okay, this... If you're looking for a pure vanilla smell, this is freaking awesome. Okay? It's awesome. It's yellow. Yellowish. And get it at Victoria's Secret or Pink. I don't know if Pink has them. But this is the best spray I've ever tried in my whole entire life. Ah! It's not my favorite though. Like my favorite. This is my favorite body spray ever. And I love this. As you can tell. It's already gone. Yeah. So that's Vanilla Lace. <clears throat> and this is Pure Seduction. It's, it's also a body mist. Um, this is cassava, cassava, melon, plum, and freesia. That's what the bottle looks like. And I have about psh, maybe a third left. And this one smells amazing also, but the pump doesn't work, as you can see. Oh, there it goes. 
Yeah, it sprays every so often. So I put it in a different container. But yeah, that's that. It smells good. It smells fruity. Very, very, very fruity. If you want a fruity flavor, I suggest you try Pure Seduction from Victoria's Victoria Secret. Oh, oh this video is going to be long. Oh, well. Okay. Next body spray. This is a strong one that I was telling you all about. <sighs> okay. It smells really, really good. I'm sorry. I like shaking it up. Um, coconut lime verbena. It's just green. I don't know if it looks green on the camera. It looks white because of the lighting, but it's green. And it matches this lotion that I showed y'all earlier. And I also have the body wash. In the body wash, you cannot smell coconut verbena when you put it on your body because I've used this since Christmas. I can't tell. Okay. This spray is so strong. So freaking strong that it gives me a headache. So I suggest spraying one spray. One. Because look how much I've used. It just, it gives me such a headache. Oh, this is from Bath and Body Works, by the way. But yeah, good smell. Strong, a little too strong for me. Like, if you like strong body sprays, I should just, you go with this. I mean, you don't have to wear a perfume on top of it because it's so strong that you just, you don't have to wear perfume. Um, yeah. Okay, that's all my body sprays. Um, back to perfumes. Okay, this is my all-time favorite perfume in the whole entire world. And it is hard, Yuki lovers. It's the G one. It's just called G. Um, this is 1.0 fluid ounce. Oh my gosh, it's almost gone. Do you see that? Okay, well, it's the bottom... It looks full. Okay, it's not halfway full. It's like maybe one fourth full on the bottom. Um, I don't know how to describe the scent. I'm sorry. It smells like a French whore. That's how me and my friend describe it. Yeah. This, this thing is discontinued. Discontinued, and it makes me so mad. And my aunt found one in Dolly's. Really? Really? And she never got me one. What a hoe. But yeah, this is Hard Yuki Lovers. The G one. And it smells good, so go out and buy it. That's all I gotta say. Oh. Okay, next one. Fair Wing Princess. I'm guessing it's... Oh, Fair Wing Rock Princess. Rock Princess. Um... This is a Eau de Toilette. This smells nasty. Okay, well, it's not that nasty. Ugh. I just think it smells like beer. Okay. And you're probably like, why did you buy it? Because it smelled good at the store, y'all. And I originally wanted the, the regular princess one. That's like pinkish purple. Mmm. This is, this is not the same. So if you think it's the same, don't get it. Because it smells like butt. Okay? Butt. That's what it looks like. Now as you can tell, I haven't used any at all. Yeah. It's gross. Okay. Next is my little perfumes. Exclamation. It says cologne spray. I don't know why. Maybe it's cologne. I don't know. But that's what it looks like. It's really cute. And this smells vanilla. Like vanilla. Vanilla and baby powder. That's what it smells like. Mostly baby powder though. The little bit of florally scent. It smells really good. I don't know where I got it though. But yeah. Okay, next. Sarah Jessica Parker. NYC. This smells... This smells kind of like this at Hardy. 
but it is uberly strong. I don't know where to get it because my aunt gave it to me for Christmas, but um, this is strong, you guys. I took like two squirts of it this morning and it was, ugh, it was so strong. So it doesn't say, but I'm guessing it's Eau de Parfum because of the strongness. I don't know, there's a weird sticker thing on here. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, it's Eau de Toilette. I don't know how to say that. If you're French and you're making fun of me, get over it. Oh, you can buy it at www.sarahjessicaparkerbeauty.com slash sjpnyc and the the little you know fragrance thing limonene lena blue bht citral okay i think this is the ingredients never mind but yeah go check this out it's called sarah just parker sarah, sarah jessica parker and you'll like it. it smells good it's just really strong to me it's not like overly strong but it's like you can smell it really 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 good but it doesn't give you a headache like the other one okay next one I'm pretty sure this is a cologne I got it as a sample at Ulta and it is Idole Diamani and tell me if this is cologne because I really don't know but yeah it's a sample I don't know Next one, Beckham Signature, and this is for women, and it's Eau de Toilette, and uh, this smells good, it smells good, it's pinkish, it smells good, I really need to hurry up with this video, because it's uber long, I don't think I've ever had a video this long, ever, okay, hurry it up, that's all of my perfumes, and I'll show y'all what I keep my perfumes in. It's just like the lotion one. Like this is a lotion one. And this is the perfume one. So the perfume one is bigger. And you can get one of these at Target. Or Walmart. Whichever your local grocery store. Alright, so that's day. That is the end of day. What day is it? Day 13, that was supposed to be my fictional book, but it was my perfume and lotion collection. Alright, now on to day 14. It is what is your favorite non-fictional book? And I will hurry up and do this because this is like 18 minutes long. Okay, my favorite non-fictional book. The Rules According to Wow. As some of you know... I love Jersey Shore. My favorite girl is Snooki, though. Okay. But this just tells you just tips on how to live like a guidette. This is my favorite book. Non-fictional. Okay. So that was day 14. Alright, so this video is really long, so I'm going to cut it off now. And... Stay tuned for day 15 because my boyfriend's going to be in it. Yay! Um, so, yeah, I hope you all have a great day. And please subscribe and watch the rest of my videos. Alright, thanks. Bye, guys.